So a couple weeks ago, I was out Lego shopping, and I came across this set. I normally don't buy a lot of friend set just because they're full of colors I don't really want in my city. Plus, I don't like the mini dolls. But when I saw this set, I knew it had potential. So what I did was I bought the set, I built the set, and then I immediately turned it into a mock. Behold, my Lego friends, Lego Bet Mock. You're probably thinking, it doesn't look very different from the original mock. And that's kind of what I was going for. I didn't want to completely change the look of it. I wanted you to be able to still look at it and notice that it was the vet's office, but I wanted to make it so that it was mine and so that it wasn't all pink. So first things first, I made it a corner building. So here is the main entrance right here, and off to the side here, so that's like a little play park for the animals you get in this set. Here is the corner, the window, or not the corner, but the curved window, like I didn't change that. And what I did was a lot of, there was a lot of loose pieces in the set when I got it, like this was just it's like, you know, they had it just so you set out there, but I don't like loose pieces. I thought they, they were driving me nuts how many loose pieces there are, so I attached everything to the vet's office. Here's the very front door to the vet office. As you can see here, I have this sign that gives the hours of the vet's office, which is 9 to 16, which is the kind of weird hours. I guess they were using 24 hours, and I made these sliding doors. The sliding doors are kind of neat because now if people are rushing in like into the emergency room with their animals, the doors slide open and nobody has to hold it for them. And then down here I added these gold coins just to give it a little bit more detail and to stop the doors when they slide open. Next to the curved window here I added the cat and the dog, like this little street sign just to let people know that this is a vet office. Right here I added more windows of the original windows that came in the set. I added another gold cone and then I added this flower bed with a lot of different flowers. Off to the side here, I just added onto the base plate this little merry-go-round thingy for each animal. This originally came in the set, but it wasn't fastened on, so I decided I wanted to fasten it on. Along the whole roof here, we have these slopes, and over here we have the curved slope. Unfortunately, these slopes only come in one set, therefore I don't have enough to completely finish the building, but someday I hope to do that. I also changed out the colors of the sign here to make it all blue and then I just left this one purple element because it actually doesn't look that bad when you show the rest of the building. Coming inside the front door here we have the reception area. The reception area is a very small area in the, the building just because it is so small. Here we have a telephone so the vet can pick up and let like, know when animals are coming in. Whoops. We have this little ledge here with a coffee cup just because they have to drink too. We also have a little computer just to take all the information and then we I included these like vet like boxes of food. But oh, there's the torso for that set, I think. And see there's nothing actually on these part of the foods here. I just had to add them in to make it look like there was more than one element. Because if you turn it around, you can see that they're stickered on, but so it looks like there's actually more than one in stock. And here is the vet minifigure I made for this mock. It is not obviously the real Lego Friends vet because it's not a mini doll. Before the examination table and like just after the reception area, we have this weight where you weigh your pets. It's tucked off in the corner here because you don't really need a lot of space for the animals to be weighed and it's done in the reception area just because it, does, it doesn't need a lot of space in it. The owners you know, can put their pets on there and their pets feel comfortable getting their weight taken. Right next to the weight area, we have the examination table. It's a really big, heavy-duty looking examination table. You know, we have a brush for grooming, we have all these bottles of medicines for sick pets. We have the actual place where the animals can sit here, and as you can see, there's glass panels back there so they don't fall off that side. And then we have this really big x-ray, or not x-ray, but with this big light so the vet can see what they're doing. Up here, we have fastened the All the Animals record so the vet can just look up and, you know, kind of look what's going on. And down here we have all the different tools that the vet might need. And finally the last thing of this vet's office is the x-ray machine. Since it's a really cool x-ray machine that's actually from the original set that I just modified a little bit. And as you can see it slides all around here. So what you do is you take like any kind of animal, you put it on the x-ray machine and you just have your minifigure pull the machine over. As you can see, this machine is designed for the cat because it's got the cat there. It also has a bunch of records there. And as you can see, we just have this little clock here just to let the vet know what time it is. Getting close to that 1600 hours. Another little build that I made for this mock was this, this little part where the vet can actually push the animals all around the vet's office. As you can see, this is what it looks like when you put an animal in and it's got their records on the front. 
This mock is obviously not the best mock that I've ever made, but I'm pretty happy with it because, in my opinion, it looks so much better than the original set because now it's actually a full building and not just the front of a building and then no side. Thanks everybody for watching this video. If you want to check out more of my LEGO videos, check the card as there's a whole playlist of every single video I've ever uploaded. Thanks everybody for watching and have a great day. Immediately turned it into a mock. I literally just finished filming this video and look at the mock. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm really glad I just did a video on it. Because now I at least know what it looks like when I have to rebuild it. Look, look at all those pieces everywhere.